Hey guys, this is Heather from HealthyEatingStartsHere.com. So what I have for you today are what in my experience are the top six foods that keep you warm in the winter. I have considerable experience with this because I am one of those people that gets cold really easily. I have consistently low blood pressure and the circulation is something that's really important for keeping you warm. So some people might get colder than others. I am one of those cold people. When I go out for a walk in the winter, I have to layer and bundle like a crazy person. So for those of you who, like me, have cold feet all the time, pretty much, then these will be pretty helpful. So number six would be hot drinks. It's not technically a food, I know, and it's pretty simple, but sometimes you overlook the simple things. And I just wanted to remind you that holding a mug of hot tea, like I have right now, can really help warm you up. All right, number five, another fairly obvious one, but worth mentioning, soups and stews. As the weather gets colder, it's often good to shift to warmer foods. And although it's still good to get some raw foods, you can eat them in the afternoon for lunch or for an afternoon snack when your body is the warmest. In the evening, when you get home, your toes are frozen, have some soup. Now we're getting into one a little more interesting. Number four is whole grains. And okay, whole grains work on a couple of levels. One is that if you eat them hot, they have the benefit of just instantly heating you up and that's great. But they also have certain nutrients, in particular the B vitamins, magnesium, and a little bit of selenium. And those are three nutrients that your thyroid and adrenal glands need to function properly. And in the winter, when the weather changes, your glands tend to slow down and your glands help regulate body temperature. So keeping your glands well nourished through the winter is really, really important. And whole grains are one food that really help do that. Number three is cinnamon and other spices. Cinnamon really helps to boost your metabolism and that generates body heat. Other spices do that as well. So things like cumin, coriander, turmeric, paprika, cloves, allspice, all of these things can really help warm you up at a meal. So try sprinkling them on top of your dish. Try cooking them into the dish. Try putting them in salad dressings. Do whatever you like, but they're gonna boost the flavor as well as helping you stay warm. Just be sure you don't get things too, too spicy. Um, when you get a really high level of spice, like with cayenne, um, the kind where it makes you sweat, that's actually because it's dispersing heat from your body. So it's going to let the heat out. And that's why in the hottest climates, they actually eat really spicy food because it helps cool them down. But if you have a mild spice level, it can actually help warm you up. So use them to your advantage. Number two is coconut oil. Now, fats can be helpful when you eat them because they take a lot of energy to break down, so they generate body heat in the metabolism. But coconut oil also has a double purpose, and I use it more often actually as a moisturizer than in my food. Dry, cracked skin can give off body heat, and especially when it's windy, I notice that if my skin's dry, I get cold so much faster. So, before Phil and I go out for a walk in the cold, we put some coconut oil on, on the legs, on the arms, even on the face. It is a little bit oily, so I usually take a towel and just lightly wipe off any excess oil, but it's fantastic, and it can really, really make a difference, so give it a try. So, number one, my favorite food for keeping me warm in the winter, ginger. I love to have it fresh. I just get a fresh root from the grocery store. And then my favorite way to have it is just cut some really thin slices or grate it and put it in a mug of hot water and then let it steep in like a tea. Drink it, warms me up instantly. I have that in the morning, I have it in the evening, I have it anytime I feel cold. It is awesome. You can throw a little bit of cinnamon in there and give yourself a double whammy. It's also great in, uh, in any dish that you want to prepare. Um, salads, I usually grate and squeeze the juice from the ginger. Or if you want to put it in with some steamed or stir-fried vegetables, fantastic. Or you can also cook it into a morning porridge. You can just cut those thin slices, 
put it in the water when you cook a porridge and they will float on the top so you can take them out at the end. Really, really great way to have ginger. Of course, if you don't want to do fresh, you can do ground ginger. So that's it. My top six foods that keep me warm through the winter. I want to hear from you guys though as to what you think about these foods. What are some creative ways that you use them? Um, whether you have some other things that you like to do to keep yourself warm, let me know by leaving a comment. And of course, you can find more info about nutrition over at healthyeatingstartshere.com. And I will see you guys next time.